China is going to become the most important economic power in the world. That ship's going to get lifted more than the others, and that's the ship you should be on. The Treasury Holdings property portfolio stretches from Spencer Dock in Dublin to St. Petersburg to Shanghai. In China, Treasury's Richard Barrett and John Ronan are about to create the world's largest eco-city. The Dongtang project will cost 6.5 billion euro and house 50,000 people attracted to Shanghai, the Paris of the East. China is not experiencing terrifically high birth rates. Its population increase in cities is a function of migration from the rural interior to the coastal cities. And in particular, Shanghai is very attractive to a 16-year-old up the mountains. So they get a disproportion of the movement to Shanghai about the population of Dublin per annum. So the city authorities decided to consolidate the growth in numbers in effectively nine satellite cities. And we have a 50-50 joint venture with the government of Shanghai on one of the cities on Chongming Island. This city should be created so that there is no extra CO2 created by reason of its existence. If you looked at a satellite map of the world at night, for instance, Africa is dark and the United States is all lit up with, with electric light. If, if, you could, if you could track CO2 emissions in the same way, you would not see the city. It would not feature because it's not emitting anything. Nobody should leave the world a worse place than the way they got it. To understand the way the site is laid out, it basically goes from the very furthest point that you can see on this road to further you can, you can see up here, to further beyond that house there, which is going to be the central harbour. And as far here, uh, until just beyond that black bridge, the site's just larger than 3,000 acres, which is the first phase of the city. The entire site of uh, Dongtang is about 21,000 acres. I find it hard to think that there's anything more challenging. And I think when we're dead, they'll remember us for this.